Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be a full coverage makeup look. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I thought I'd pop in here really fast using full coverage makeup. And I love doing these type of videos because it's always fun to put on makeup and look full on glam. But anyway, I'm doing this makeup look and of course the foundation, the concealer, the powders, all of that is full coverage. I really did go a little bit heavy on the eyes as you can see, even on the eyelashes. Uh, but that has got to be no surprise to you all because you all know that I like eyelashes. But anyway, Anyway, I had a lot of fun doing this look. At the end of the video, let me know if you use any of the products that I use, or if not, let me know what full coverage makeup you like to use. So with all of that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get this party started. I'm gonna go ahead and do my skincare really quick. And I'm just gonna use my Elemis uh, eye mask. You can use this at night or under your makeup or during the day. And you don't have to use Elemis. You could use any eye cream that you feel works good for your skin type. And for my all over cream, I'm gonna use my Elegem Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is it. Remember, whatever you use, make sure you apply it really well. And I would apply sunscreen, but I'm not because after I finish this video, <laughs> I'm going to wash it off and go to bed. But under normal circumstances, I would apply my Dennis Gross sunscreen. This is it. And I initially started off with two bottles of that and I'm down to my last bottle. So I don't really want to waste it. I don't want to waste it. Now I'm so going to anyway. fill in my brows. But um, before I fill them in, I'm going to take some of my Kat Von D powder foundation and just tap it over my brows. And sometimes I just feel that this is helpful whenever I'm using a, uh, a felt pen to do my brows or if the cream that I've used is um, uh, very moisturizing. It's just something that you can do to just ease the eyebrow application if you're going to use a felt tip pen or even a, a regular uh, pencil or a pomade. It's just up to you. It's just sometimes I like to do that. Right, and for my brows, I'm going to use this Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is it. And I like using this sometimes because on one side it has the felt pen, on the other side it does have a pencil. Um, for this look, I'm just going to use the, the felt pen part. And I'm just going to lightly make some hair strokes. Okay, so I got that all done. And sometimes I use the pencil side, sometimes I don't. Um, but more than likely, whenever I use this brow blade, I like to use the felt tip pen part. All right, so next I'm gonna carve out my brows. I'm gonna use the same old Sephora foundation. This is a matte foundation. And when you carve out your brows, you can use anything that you choose that's full coverage, that you can use a full coverage uh, concealer. You can use Use a regular primer like um, let's see like this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills primer eye primer it, there's just so many things that you can use it's, it's totally up to you um, but of course if you're going for a full coverage look uh, get something that has full coverage with it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and carve this out And I'm also going to use it as my eye primer. So I'm using it to, as you can see, to crop out my brows as well as a primer. And I do it like this in just about all of my videos. Um, unless it's like a really natural look. 
Okay, so to set my uh, base or this um, foundation that I just put on, I'm just gonna use my CoverGirl translucent powder and I'm just gonna lightly set everything. I'm using one of my Natasha Denona palettes and I don't want any confusion. <laughs> okay. And this is the powder that I use. I like to, you all know, that's one of my favorite drugstore powders. All right, so now I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. In the crease, I'm gonna use, what do I wanna use? I wanna go with a green look. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. Alright, now that I have that applied, I'm going to use this green right here. I haven't done a green eye look in like a very long time, like years. So. Okay, and to deepen that up, I'm gonna go in with this green right here. And I know you're probably like, Bridget, why don't you say the names? Because then I have to put on my glasses. <laughs> it slows me down. It's just a big mess. <laughs> so, Okay, so let's go ahead and add that right in here. back in with this shade and blend that line out. All right, and on my lid, I'm gonna use this shade right here. Okay, and on my lower lash line, I'm gonna put this shade right here. And for my inner eye highlight, I'm gonna try this gold right here. Even though I'm no, even though I know I'm gonna have to reapply it once I have all of my makeup and powder on. Um, go ahead and put that here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and add the mascara and the eyeliner and the boring stuff and the eyelashes, and I'll be right back. And I'll, all right, so I know I've overdone it with the lashes. I went way back in the eyelash drawer. For those of you all who've been with me a moment, you know that I like eyelashes. Okay, so, so anyway. now for foundation, I'm gonna use the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. This is really good. Let me show you all. Comes in a bottle like this, and I'm gonna mix it, mix it with the new Huda Foundation. This is it right here. And I'm just gonna take a pump of this and a pump of this one. And the reason that I wanna mix it is because this one is a little bit uh, too deep. 
and this one is a little bit too light so if I figure if I mix them together <laughs> this will be my first time actually mixing these two together so we're gonna see what we come up with um, but both of them are full coverage I don't like using the Huda foundation on its own uh, because it is too drying even though it's supposed to be their hydrating formula if you will um, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this And even with me mixing it, the color is still off. But we're gonna keep it moving. But do you all see how full coverage it is? So if you have dark spots or any kind of anything that needs to be covered, it's definitely gonna get covered. Even if you use these two on its own. All right, now that I got all of that set, I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Heal Powder uh, to set under my eyes. Here's the shade. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. That's the actual shade right there. And I'm gonna set my under eyes. And you only need a little bit. Only use a little bit to set it. If you use more than that, it's just gonna look really bad. Some powders you can accidentally use too much and get away with it, but not this one. Mm -mm. It's like a very unforgiving powder. So in order to avoid any mistakes, just use a little bit of it. So got all of that applied. Now I'm gonna bronze up and I'm going to use my old Sephora Pro palette. This is the face palette and I'm gonna use this shade right here. Okay, so now to finish everything off, I'm going to use this finishing powder by Sephora. This is it. This is the shade. All right, and now for highlighter, I'm gonna go back into this Sephora Pro palette and I'm gonna mix um, these two these two shades together and put a little on my nose a little bit right here 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 okay and since I went um, really heavy on the eyes I'm gonna do a nude lip and I'm just gonna go into my um, Urban Decay Vice Lip Palette. Comes in a package like this. And then, y'all remember these. You open it up and there are all your lipsticks. I'm just gonna pick a nude color. Um, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use these two shades. And now I'm gonna put the lighter shade in the middle. And now to set everything in place, I'm gonna go with my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. And this is good if you want a full coverage look, but you don't want that plastered to your face type of feel. I'm 
And the last thing, I know you think I forgot, but I didn't. I'm gonna go back in and add some more of, what shade did I put? I think it was this shade on my lower lash line because I lost a little bit of it after I applied, you know, my concealer and everything. So I'm gonna be very, very careful so I won't get anything and mess up my concealer. And it's actually, I made a mistake, it's this shade. <laughs> I'm applying under there. And it almost looks like black, but of course when you're up close, you can really see that it's like a teal uh, blue color. So it's really pretty. Okay, and now that I have that applied, I'm going to add some mascara. And this is it, this is the final look. Okay, let me know what you think about the look that I created. Also, let me know if you use any of these products uh, to achieve a full coverage look. Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.